girl, you don't want to see me at Fashion Week, honey. I'm going to be so fly. One day I'm going to go and I'm be photographed. I'm going to be on your Pinterest homepage and you're going to be like, oh my God, they go Shayna. One day. Hey girl, it's Shayna Berkeley, your neighborhood stylist, your stylist next door, here to teach you what? Mm-hmm, how to rock these trends in your real world. And today is so fun, I'm so excited because it is what I would wear to Fashion Week. Now, Fashion Week in the USA, honey, is canceled, delayed, honey, put to the side, whatever you wanna call it, it ain't happening. But it has happened um, around the world. And so I thought it would be really fun if I searched my closet, my new end pieces, my thrifted pieces, things I already own, to figure out what I would wear if I were going to Fashion Week. So I have seven outfits I wanna show to you, talk you through the styling concepts of it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but before I do that, I wanna make sure that you subscribe. So click to join the click and subscribe to join the tribe, all right? I've done a video every day in September and it's gonna keep going, so if you miss any videos, no problem. Go ahead and watch my September playlist and if you've been with me since the first Child, I appreciate you. Then if you have been, you would have seen this dress, honey. It's from the Goodwill video. So I'll put the title card or the thumbnail in here. And then also all the videos will be in the subscription box that we talk about today. So be sure to check those out after you watch this one. All right. Now like, subscribe, comment your favorites. Let's get to it. I want to just start over here. So my first thought, right? I was like, I want to do one of my looks with these blue pants. You would have seen them in my new end video they have a little flare at the bottom and you'll also see it in the photos and the, the videos that I have in this video but I love this color and I wanted to see how I can style them up so I thought I kind of want to do a folly look so should I do like a hunter green or should I do black and then I decided I would do tan so I got this tan jacket um from the goodwill you'll see it in the same video that I discussed this dress so I got this these two together and I was like oh yeah okay I like this color pattern and then I put this brooch in here. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that my friend Faye um, got me hooked on these brooches. And now I collect brooches. My mom has got me brooches. It's, it's a thing at this point. But I love the idea of putting brooches. So in the photos, you can't really see them that great. But I added this brooch. And I had one more brooch. So let me tell you what I did with the second brooch. So when I was trying to figure out what shirts to wear under, I didn't want to do anything skin tone. I didn't want to do white. I just felt like that was a little too contrasting. And so I decided just to not do a shirt and to button the jacket but then i popped the collar and so this lapels would cross over and i actually put a brooch right here to hold the jacket closed so it kept this collar like a stand-up collar it closed the lapel and i buttoned it at the bottom it was so cute so after i got these two pieces i was like all right so this is the color scheme right tan and blue so now i have to search my closet to see kind of what accessories or what things i can add to it to make it pop insert the hat you guys have seen this hat in my amazon and what i bought from amazon video i also put that in the description box and they have some really cute like snake skin and leopard print scarves on amazon but i'm doing no shop september <laughs> so i couldn't buy anything so i actually got this little scarf from the dollar store and i tied it around and kind of let it fall from the back to give it like a little editorial vibe and i really liked how that turned out and so after that all that was left was shoes now, I'm going to show y'all some black from the past. See if y'all, my fashion girls, remember these. Do y'all remember these? These are the Tom Ford denim dupes. These aren't the actual shoes. It's a dupe from Kate Robin. They always make good dupes if you're looking for some. Um, and so, I added these shoes. They ain't been out the closet in about a year, so I know they were happy to come out and play. But they were the perfect, like, little addition to wrap up my fall-inspired look. So, I love these. Then, we're going to move on to my second outfit. This one was super fun. And um, I my style type, if you follow me over there, is ghetto glam. So I love everything urban. I love everything like glamorous and, and gaudy, but still like really edgy and cool. And so that's where this look came in. So I got this purple rain jacket from Walmart. You would have seen it in my Walmart haul video that I put up this month. Again, it's in the description box. And I love the purple camo of it all. And when I put it on, I was like, this, I said out loud, this is long enough to be a dress. And I was like, this is long enough to be a dress. So I decided to see how I could style it as a dress. So I had the camo um, rain jacket, and then I had two pairs of sunglasses. So the first are these like small frame purple lens glasses. And you guys know my number one accessory is probably shoes, but my number two, that's a close second, are sunglasses. 
So then the second one, I like these because although they do have that orange um, outline or frame, the lenses have this purplish blue tint. I wonder if you can see that. So I was like, yes, this is the look. So I did the sunglasses with the raincoat as a dress and it was fire, right? So obviously you can tell I'm doing like a monochromatic slay here. And so to add it off, to top it off, I added these. Alaya dupes. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it, Alaya. So I love the shoe child. Don't love the price tag. And so Liliana, actually, these are years old as well, did a dupe of them when they first came out. And I got them in three colors. And I really have a rule against buying the shoe in every color. I think that you get more wear and diversity in your closet if you pick one color of something that you like. And then you find other things that you like, right? So you don't have 15 black shoes. You have purple and black and gold and red. But this shoe was just too good. And I actually got it in like different designs. So one has a three tier, one has that T strap, all the things. But anyway, so this shoe went perfectly with that purple rain jacket. And we did a monochrome look. The next outfit you would have also seen in my Goodwill thrift with me, like what I bought. It's Jones New York um, tuxedo dress. And what I didn't know until I actually like tried to style it up is this part right here, it actually, and it may be the size, like it may be better if you have a smaller chest, but it looks good on the hanger kind of bunched like this, but on it really doesn't lay flat in a way that I liked it. And then also the split right here on um, because the lining kind of pulls a little bit it bunches a little so it wasn't as it wasn't the look that I thought it would be when I first put it on I decided to go a different way and go like Black Widow funeral so I actually didn't even zip the whole back up I left half the back undone pulled it off the shoulders and so it's this V look and made it like I had this I, I'll show you the accessories I did sunglasses and I did um, a purse and heels so let me just let me just show you. So I did these little socks. Let's start with the socks here, people. And I'll pull them out so you can see. You remember, and actually it's a big trend that's coming back now, but these sheer socks were in a couple years ago. And I got these from Rue 21 for like $7. No, maybe like $4. And I really like them. And so they're sheer, but they have flowers. And I also got the fishnet socks. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to do the socks and pump look. And I also have this purse. My best friend bought me this purse for my birthday years ago. And it's all studded. Again, going on with that good old glam. This was the purse. I decided to do these uh, Gucci Inspired. I got them from the beauty supply store. The hair store, whatever you call it. But these Gucci Inspired sunglasses. So they have the little bees on them. And I just really liked kind of all the colors. They're a little dirty, I can tell. All the colors and the lenses. And I... Added the last thing I wanted to go all black, so I knew the shoe would be black. But I do have a number of black shoes, and so I decided that I would do the Louboutin pump. These hurt, okay? These never see the light of day except if it's for photos. Why do people suffer for these shoes? Um, I got them on consignment, and the price was so good. And I think my feet weren't. Like, I was smaller when I first got them, so I don't think my feet were as fat. They were still tight. But now, baby, honey, wee wee, bougie, no, no. Uh, so, they're absolutely photograph shoes. If you have some and you just call them photograph shoes, walk and sit shoes, two-step shoes, change in and out shoes, quick, quick, hurry up, take a picture, put, comment below. Because I just didn't know somebody else feel like my feet deserve better. I feel like Mama D, I deserve better. I can't. But these were the shoes in the photo. But no, it was just for the pictures, okay? So for the fourth day, I was like, you know what? I want to go something completely different. So I did my fall. I did my kind of edgy. I did my dark and romantic or like anti-romantic. I want to go very 50s. I want to go very preppy and bougie and Upper East Side. I've never been to the Upper East Side, so I don't know what that means. I'm from Georgia, Atlanta to be exact. Um, but I just want to feel like, you know, I didn't think Gossip Girl was a good show, but the fashion in it was pretty good. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to channel 
whatever Blake's character name was. So I decided to start with this skirt and headband combo that I also got from the Goodwill. You'll see it in the Goodwill haul. If you haven't watched it yet, it's, it's time to watch it after this. But this skirt with the, and this skirt is like, comes to my calf, and it has the headband to match. It also could be a belt or a headband or something you tie on your purse, whatever. Then I couldn't find, right, because I was like, I want to do something that's like a long sleeve or something that feels very like buttoned up. But of course, I have all my summer clothes out because it's hot. So I was like, dang, I don't know what my long sleeve knit sweater is. So I decided to do this sheer shirt from Play-Doh's Closet. And baby, these arms have grown because it was sausage fest, okay? My arms were stuck like a sausage in here, but it did the do. So this is completely sheer. It's completely sheer. And obviously, I didn't want it to be a sexy look because I was trying to go buttoned up and preppy. And so I just added this bandeau from some boutique here. I think Blush or something I got it from. Just a black bandeau. And I like it because it was like really extra wide. Some bandeaus are like this long. And I'm like, child, what? I'm supposed to wear that. But this is a really long bandeau. And it has the elastic at the top and the bottom. I really like it. And I put that under it to, again, make it look like... I had on a black turtleneck when I really had on this sheer shirt. So from there, I added the accessories. Okay, one of the accessories was this purse. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this first. I got it off Poshmark, but they got it off Amazon. It's a Bottega Veneta dupe, but it does have the, the chain. It's a dupe of their cloud clutch, I think is what it's called. And it's in this tan color, really pretty. Really elegant, and I love it. And so I did it with this purse. I did it with these black White House Black Market shoes. If you watch my Goodwill haul, you've seen these shoes before, and I love the contrasting color. And then, of course, you couldn't you couldn't be high fashion and bougie without the sunglasses. So I gave y'all a little cat eye with a rhinestone. And it was a bop. It was a look. Red lip. Yes, yes. You're welcome. You're all welcome. So on day five, I was like, yeah, my feet probably will be hurting by today. And I wanted to have something cute. Oh, I dropped one thing. Have something cute, but preppy, but fashionable, but effortless, easy breezy, beautiful black cover girl. You know what I'm saying? Like that vibe. So I started with this skirt. This skirt is also in my new in video. Can you see a theme here? I used what was new in my closet. I did this yellow skirt. And with the yellow skirt, I was like, yes, I'm going to wear my new varsity sweater. So excited about it. It obviously matches the yellow. I got this off Poshmark. I'm obsessed right now with varsity sweaters and jackets and all the things. And then I just was like, you know, I'm doing something easy. So I just did a white t-shirt and wanted to keep it cute. So I did this, added my, oh, Dooney and Burke oversized vintage bag. It's literally a vintage Dooney and Burke, which I think I may sell on Poshmark. What do you guys think? Comment below if you'll be interested in purchasing this on Poshmark. I may have it up by this video. I'm not sure. But this blue and tan really just set off this look and brought that prep school factor up a notch. And I finished it off with my Walmart sneakers. So I love the tan at the bottom again. Just making it a whole look, a whole mood. Um, so these white tennis shoes really just added something to it. I was thinking, I was like, okay, I love these five outfits. The outfits are cute. They slaying. They're giving me all the things I want, all the moods. But I really haven't hit my quintessential Shayna swag, like, level. And so that's really what I was looking for for the last two days. So this is what I did. So I bought this bodysuit. And I saw somebody on Instagram or TikTok do a cute little trick where they actually put their head through the armhole to make it one-sided. It's hard to show you on here, but you'll see it in the picture. So it looks something like that, and it's cute. Now, it does make, well, at least on this bodysuit, it made this one a little bit looser because it didn't have that tension from, you know, making it a scoop neck, but I love the look. So I was excited I saw that and tried it, and it works with this bodysuit. And then I was like, you know, we're just going to go all out Pink Panther. These pants are from Buffalo Exchange. Again, secondhand. They are extra large. So they're a little bit big, but they ride 
they ride low, they kind of sit big, they really give this, I can't stand the rain, it's my window, but in a pink pant version. These swisher pants are coming back, but I don't necessarily like them in the like, athleisure look, so I decided to dress them up a notch. The first being my favorite shoes, and these are really just, for some reason, when I bought these, I bought these from a store called Marty and Liz in Nashville, and I bought them, and I had just bought them because, that's what I do. I buy shoes. But I like them, of course, and I didn't think I would get a whole lot of wear out of them, but I was like, for $40, even if I wear them twice a year, no big deal. No, baby, I wear these all the time. So I obviously had a whole pink party here and was like, all right, enough of the pink. I need to break it up. And so I decided to grab, uh-oh, let's see, this purse. I got this purse off Poshmark, but it's a Boohoo purse. This one I really like because I can make it a belt bag. I can tighten it all the way over, and then it'll sit right as a belt bag. So if you have this purse, try that. It looks so cute. I hope you love these pictures, and it felt very me. You have Fashion Week, friend. You done had six days of slaves, okay? And you got one more day, and you either could go lazy fashion, or you can go, like, winter. Right, a winner is the party who just runs to the finish line full force, even though they done had six days of full slaves. And that's what I think I would want to do. I'm not sure, but I'm going to say yes. So I decided to finish it off with this baddie. This coral suit you would have seen in my Goodwill try-on video. It is from the Goodwill. It's perfect. It literally buttons. It's from Stephanie Andrews, who's 100% silk. If I was Olivia Pope, this is how I would dress. So I started with these uh, sunglasses are from City Trends, and they are Versace inspired. Obviously, has a little lion on the side. They're small, they're white, they're still bright, but add a little bit of like little Kim to the mix, you know? You feel what I'm trying to say? Hers is probably real, definitely real. Kim, don't come for me, it's completely real. Mine are not. These are from Liliana as well. Uh, they I bought them at Metro Fashion. And they had these stones. So it's perfect because it makes your legs look long. You don't have a shoe kind of breaking up the look. It's still a pump. But then it gives a little bow. Pat out. Watch out now. It's the little one. And I'm not bow wow. Hey. So this was day seven. I felt like day seven was a busy woman slave. Was going to bring her home. Was going to do the doggone thing. And I was so excited about this. So, y'all, before I show you guys my style mix of the videos and the pictures and all the things that I really love about this, imagining myself at Fashion Week, please comment below your favorite outfit, your favorite piece. Make sure you watch the original videos where these pieces were introduced to you. And I hope you love this as much as I do. Again, don't forget to subscribe. I'm making a video every day in September. And if you miss any of those videos, go ahead and watch the September video feed playlist. It's all there for you to enjoy. Again, I'm Shana Berkeley, your neighborhood stylist, your stylist next door. Here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world.